You used to be able to smoke there, which of course no one's allowed to do anymore. Anywhere, although the Dutch can still smoke pot without tobacco in the shop, but we can't smoke tobacco because we're not. In Scandinavia, no hotel in fucking Sweden I've been to in the last year is no, it's all non smoking. No, 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 because it's a secondary smoke, isn't it? It's a secondary smoke. Yes, yeah, that's what we should be worried about. It's very. But, you know, because, you know, scientists, experts, and researchers have done, you know, research and discovered that secondary smoke. It's a very big issue for me, I think, about the future of the human race and what's happening in the world today. Secondary smoke's a real issue for me. <laughs> Secondary smoke. I'm not, I'm not particularly worried about the fact that recently the two most powerful nations illegally invaded a Middle East country under false pretenses so that it could steal their natural resources and implement permanent military bases to start more theatres of conflict so that it could implement a third world war to create a planetary fascist police state. It's secondary smoke. <laughs> it is, it's a real problem for me. Anyway. Just, you know, sometimes when you go out, your clothes get smelly, don't they? And then you have, then you have to wash them when you get back. I mean, that's a real chore for my existence, you know. I'm worried about. I'm not worried about the fact that the World Bank or the IMF go into third world countries, put them into unfathomable debt, so I can steal their natural resources, destroy the culture, and implement them into the global banking system. It's secondary smoke. That's. Because it's everywhere, and you know, I didn't choose to smoke, and I could be affected. 